How's it going guys? So today I'm going to do another episode of Bushcraft Habits. And tonight I'm out here uh, camping overnight and I scouted out the area for some natural shelter. And I found this uh, fallen down pine tree here. And I'm just uh, constructing my shelter here. And uh, I stumbled upon this. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it closer to the camera here. I'm just cutting down this dead pine tree to uh, make a shelter here. And, oops, I just broke that off. Hold on. And I stumbled upon uh, this fungus here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I have no idea what type of fungus this is. Uh, I've have seen a couple identification videos about uh, mushrooms, but not enough to to consider myself somewhat uh, worthy of identifying mushrooms. But one of my bushcraft habits are is to just identify uh, certain things such as trees, you know, bushes, grass, flowers, even insects to bugs to everything. And today I stumbled upon this fungus. And what I'm going to do is basically just try to write down as many descriptive things as I can about it. Take some pictures and obviously shoot a video. And um, when I get home after this trip, I'm going to search online to figure out what it is. So this way in the future, I know what type of fungus this is. It almost feels like air cartilage. So that's one of my bushcraft habits that I like to do. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean uh, I like to identify fungus, but I like to identify basically virtually everything out here from the trees to the grass to the moss growing on this tree here that I'm, is actually really spongy and I'm probably going to use it to gather a bunch of it later. You can see it grown here on this dead pine tree and then there's actually some small mushrooms growing here so I'm going to take a couple close-up pictures of that with my digital camera and when I get home do a little bit of online research about it. And this is, you know, this is just some stuff that I'm interested in. There's another one grown here. And I know this is a pine tree uh, because of the pine needles, dead pine needles on it. And also the smell. I just saw this off here. And you can see all the pine resin is inside there. And I can uh, smell the pine as I was chopping it. Or sawing it, sorry. So, basically this is the close-up of the fungus. Very weird fungus here. Hopefully it's a fungus and not something else that I'm touching that's poisonous. <laughs> but I'll find out later, I guess. So that's one of my bushcraft habits is basically identifying things. Uh, let me know what type of habits that you have when you're out in the bush. Uh, and as always, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to catch my future uh, bushcraft habit videos. And, you know, check out my other social media uh, things that I have. I, I post a lot of pictures. You'll probably see some pictures of that fungus that we just saw. And uh, comments and journal entries and stuff like that. Uh, I got all the links below in the description. So check those out for me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Oh, I hope that's not poisonous. Nah, uh, probably not. I'm gonna go smell it. <laughs> huh.